A report from the Health Resources and Services Administration finds there will be a need for an additional 40,000 emergency medical services personnel by the year 2030. News 19's Crystal Flintrop joins us to tell us more about what ambulance services are calling an outright shortage. That's right. Tri-State Ambulance has multiple openings right now, and I spent time with some personnel to get a glimpse of what is involved in this profession. I love it. Going out and helping somebody is just why I do it. Tri-State Ambulance is a 911 provider covering just over 2,000 square miles in the Cooley region. And on top of that, we also respond to area hospitals, critical access hospitals, um, to take people from one hospital to another, whether or not that's Gunnarsson or Mayo, um, really to get them definitive care. Currently, Tri-State Ambulance is looking to fill a variety of positions. We have multiple openings for both paramedics and EMTs right now, full-time and part-time spots are available. Um, in order to become a paramedic, you do have to be an EMT first. An EMT is about 150 hours of training. A paramedic is more intensive than that. It's about a year or two years, depending on if you decide to do an accelerated program or not. Tri-State EMS educator says the most common calls are helping the elderly population, but the day-to-day -day is forever changing. This field is amazing. You don't do the same thing every day. You show up to work, you never know what's going to happen. You could end up in Madison, you could end up in Chicago on transfers. It's amazing. Becoming an EMT or paramedic can open up many career paths within the medical field. There's so many opportunities. You can start out as an EMT and end up being a flight medic or working in a hospital. There's so many opportunities. Uh, we've had uh, paramedics go on to be PAs, doctors. Ellis says the job itself is rewarding, and most people that choose this for a profession want to give back. So we got to be with this patient in her most vulnerable moment. It's not some big car crash where we get to do all these life-saving procedures on a trauma patient. It's making a difference in so many people's lives, even in ways we might not see. And to be able to have that privilege is, is a blessing. Beyond their everyday jobs, Tri-State Ambulance makes a point to be involved in the community, whether that be by being on standby at various community and sporting events, or even a bike team, which is primarily used during Oktoberfest. And Hansen says they've even traveled with veterans for Freedom Honor Flight. All right, thank you, Crystal. Now, if you're interested in learning more about a career in this field, you can go to tristateambulance.org careers.